Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. In this episode we repair this C64 mainboard. You will see in a minute that there are a lot of garbage on the screen. So I think it could be the character one. But we will see. It could be a shorter video if this is the only fault. So let's dive into it, enjoy the video and let's start it. Here's the motherboard connected to my TV and the power. So let's see what this mainboard does. If you see a lot of garbage on screen. A lot of lot of garbage. And the garbage is changing. Well, every power on you see another fault. But if you see the computer is running. It's almost a problem with the characters. As you see, sometimes it is okay. And then, a few minutes later it's not, a, second, a few seconds later it is. So, let's warm up the sodium iron. And desolder the character on. So here we have this on the bench. It's a 25469. I have this one in spare. So I have a working C64G. And this is the same board. And we change this chip. I have here a new one. A new old one with the matching socket. So let's remove this. Some of the legs I don't want to get free, so then we use a little bit of flux and uh, solder wick. And to lift this chip out, I have this tool and my air station. Here 
you must do this very carefully and take your time so that you not damage any traces on the board. That's why I use flux. But that heat can flow. And you see the chip is out. And all the traces are good. All legs came out. So let's clean it up. This board is a younger board from C64 and here are the traces are not that fragile like an older C64 only because of the age and so this board is not so much fragile so you have to do carefully but not that much so clean this up with a little bit of ipa The old gunk is away when you put the new socket on. Only on, on this side too. See the socket fits very well and it's very easy to put in. So the holes are free. I, this is uh, for poster, this blue stuff, and so I put this on to help the socket in place. If we secure two of the legs, Now the socket don't go away, it's flush on the board, and now we can solder this in place.
So let's tap it all in. Now we clean again. Because in this solder is a little bit of flux. And you see, this looks nice. Now we put the strap on when we put the new character ROM in. For this, I use my pin straightener. You see, the pins are slightly bent outwards. This is very cheap, you can buy it on Amazon or on eBay. So, the notch on the silk screen and the sort are there. The notch on the chip are there. Put this carefully in. So, now we have this in place. And now we test if our repair was successfully. So, let's give this thing a try. Oh, it does not work. Hmm. Then it's another fault. Let's test again and see if we find this port. So I put the character ROM in my working C64C, you see here. Here I have this one, this was in this C64. Luckily this uh, in the C64C this chip was socketed. So let's give this a try. Oh, that's interesting. You see this uh, character ROM is fully working. So then we have uh, another fault on this other board. Hmm. That's weird. I um, plugged the, I connected the um, C64 board to the TV and I also connected the uh, test harness with the diagnostic card in and off camera I reflowed the contacts from the PLA and from the VIC2 chip and let's see what this do and you see garbage then the screen clears and then a little bit garbage So now we see full screen. If you see PLA test is good and color ROM test is good, character ROM test is good. It's all testing good. In the previous uh, test I made, um, the PLA test, the color RAM, and the character ROM test uh, shows are uh, bad. So after reflowing, all is good, but you see the uh, screen is um, on some points like this border. 
and the quality of the characters are uh, not good. So all tested good. Hmm. You see it's flickering between good and uh, not good or not so good. Hmm. Very mystique. Very mysterious. So this is a good point to end this video. At this stage I can't figure out where the fault is at the moment. So I think the faulty part is the PLA. Um, I think this because in earlier tests with a diagnostic harness I get errors for PLA and also for the color RAM. The color RAM is in this case in this board revision and in this type of PLA included. If you have any idea or experience with this specific error, uh, let me know in the comments or at Twitter. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want more videos, subscribe to my channel. So you can also support me on Patreon as well. And I see you in the next one.